Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I bring you this duster cardigan. I really love this cardigan. When I decided to do a duster cardigan, I put a lot of thought into it. I wanted something warm, something cozy, something long and, and beautiful. So I came across this stitch called the the even more stitch and i fell in love with it i decided this is the stitch i was going to use on my cardigan i wanted something with um, a long collar with long sleeves and especially i wanted pockets for <laughs> the cold because I, I usually want to put my hands in pockets when it's so cold so i wanted uh, pockets but i just didn't want any pockets i wanted the side slit pockets so this is what i came up with and i really like how it came out i hope you do love it because it really took me about 50 hours to do this and 20 balls of yarn so I hope you love it we are going to go straight into the tutorial but before we do that if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so let's get into it yeah for this tutorial i'm going to be using this yarn it's medium weight yarn 133 meters long 50 grams i used 20 of this like all 20 i used two packets of this so get any medium weight yarn that you have i uh, will need scissors and for the tutorial i used a 4.0 millimeter hook um, tape measure these are the measurements that you are going to need from uh, extra small to extra large um, you will need an even number of chains for the foundation chain so we are going to start with the back panel so for the back panel you are going to make a slip knot and for your size you are going to make chains equivalent to those inches for my size which is an extra small i'm going to make 19 inches of chain so this is going to be our foundation chain 19 inches for the extra small for all the other sizes check the chart that i just showed you okay all right so i'm done with my chains this is my foundation chain 19 inches okay if you're doing extra small for the other sizes i showed you the chart you can go ahead and chain those inches okay so we are now going to work on row one it's an easy stitch really slip stitch and uh, half double crochet so you should be able to do this okay i have my 19 inches right okay so for one we are going to skip our very first chain our very first chain from the hook without counting the one on the hook so skip your very first chain this one go into your second chain and we are going to make a slip stitch okay make a slip stitch and don't make it tight because we'll work on it when we come for row two make a slip stitch that is not that tight okay a loose slip stitch and for the second stitch we are going to go into the second chain and make a half double crochet you have three loops on the hook pull through all so for our third stitch it's going to be a slip stitch and our fourth stitch is going to be a half double crochet our next stitch is going to be a slip stitch and the one after that is going to be a half double crochet so as you can see you already see the pattern it is a slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet basically that is the pattern for this whole like 90 percent of this cardigan so yeah it is easy as that and the stitch really looks beautiful it's the even more stitch and i love it it really looks beautiful so you are going to continue with that pattern of a slip stitch and a half double crochet until you get to the end of your row and yeah you should uh, uh i'll meet you at the end of the row we should be having a slip stitch at the end of the row so this is how it looks at the back and see you at the end 
all right so i'm at the end of the row and uh, if your foundation chain was an even number of chains so you should have a slip stitch at the end so make sure you're starting your row with a slip stitch and ending your row with a slip stitch that is very important slip stitch at the beginning slip stitch at the end okay so once you're done with your row one you'll notice that uh, like mine it has decreased by an inch so as of now i have 18 inches so so i have 18 inches we started with 19 inches of chain okay now that is okay so now we are going to work on our row two okay so for our row two it's basically going to be the same thing but for before we start row two, you are going to chain one. So at the beginning of every row, we'll chain one. So chain one, and then turn your work. And you see this very first stitch here where we had our slip stitch, you're going to insert your hook and then make a slip stitch. All right, so going to your next stitch, which was a half double crochet, and on top of that half double crochet, make a double crochet, a half double crochet, sorry. Your next stitch is going to be a slip stitch, and the one after that is going to be a half double crochet. So basically the same pattern. You begin with a slip stitch and end with a slip stitch, start a row with a slip stitch, end with a slip stitch, and alternate between slip stitch, half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet as you can see the, the these uh, stitches at the top that's what you work in okay so i'm at the end of row two and we are going to end this row off with a slip stitch so going to your very last stitch right here and make a slip stitch then for row three you are now going to chain a one this is how it looks so far. So for row three, you are going to chain a one, chain one, turn your work, and in that very first stitch, you are going to make a slip stitch. Then going to your next stitch, make a half double crochet. Into the next stitch, make a slip stitch. You are working in a two loops that are at the top. As you can see, there is uh, this kind of third look, looking loop. Don't work in that. You're only working in the two loops at the top. So this is a slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. Slip stitch. And then a half double crochet. This is the pattern. It is as easy as that, yet it is a very beautiful stitch. So you are going to continue with this pattern and I'll meet you at the end just to show you one more time how we end the, the row and start the next and uh, yeah, see you at the end. I'm coming to the end of our third row and we are going to end this row with a slip stitch so like I mentioned start the row with a slip stitch end the row with a slip stitch so chain one turn your work and into that very first stitch make a slip stitch going to the next stitch make a half double crochet going to the next stitch make a slip stitch and then a half double crochet a slip stitch and then a half double crochet so this is going to be our pattern you are going to do this for all the rows for the back panel the front panel the sleeves and yeah so for the back panel continue with this pattern very easy pattern and I did this until I had a total number of 36 inches long so it's going to be looking like this you see these waves so go straight up there's no decrease there's no increase it should be straight until you have a total number of 36 inches and if you're doing any other size these are the inches you will have 
which are totally adjustable according to your preference and height okay all right so i have my 36 inches this really took a while but yeah we are there 36 inches this is my back panel looks like this so long you can make it shorter or if you wish but i wanted it long so this is what we have okay 36 inches so now we are going to come and do the front panels and for the front panels it's just you know two identical ones and there's a little space of like four inches in between the two panels so yeah one is on one side one is on the other side they are very identical same height and these are the measurements for your front panel so for my extra small i'll do 7.5 inches uh for my chain my foundation chain for any other size please look here all right so my 7.5 will be about here on one side 7.5 on the other side and in the middle here i'll have about just you know four inches four inches for my neckline okay and for the other sizes it's basically the same for the neckline uh yeah now let's start on those front panels there are two identical ones okay mine is 7.5 inches so for the foundation chain you are going to make a slip knot and make chains equivalent to your measurements that i just shown mine extra small i'm going to make 7.5 inches of chain 7.5 inches all right so i have my chains this is 7.5 inches and it's about 32 chains for me for you if you're using different yarn it could be different number of chains so as long as you have the right measurements that's okay so it's the same pattern for you're going to skip the very first chain go into your second chain and make a slip stitch that is loose go into your next chain make a half double crochet go into the chain after that and make a slip stitch then insert your hook into the next chain and make a half double crochet next is a slip stitch then half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet it's basically the same pattern like we did for the back post just these are different measurements for the starting okay i'll see you once you're done with this row so that we do row two all right So I'm done with row one and I'm going to finish this off with a slip stitch. You should have an even number of chains for your start, okay? So chain one, turn your work and for the first stitch is going to be a slip stitch. So into this very first stitch, make a slip stitch. Go into your next stitch, make a half double crochet right here. Make a half double crochet into your next stitch make a slip stitch please make sure you're working only in the top two loops and leaving the third loop that is at the front so same pattern slip stitch half double crochet slip stitch half double crochet and you are going to do this till you get to the end of this second row all right so i'm at the end of row two and i'm going to close this off with a slip stitch so into that very last stitch make a slip stitch and for row three you're going to chain one then turn your work and into this very first stitch make a slip stitch Go into your next stitch make a half double crochet then a slip stitch 
and a dub, half double crochet after that then a slip stitch and you're going to repeat the same pattern until you have the same number of rows as your back panel same number of rows as your back panel then once you're done with one of the front panels then do a very identical one so at the end of it all i'll meet you once you have two front panels same height as your back panel just the difference is in the starting chain okay so mine was 7.5 inches and you should look at the chart on how many chains you should make how many inches of chain so i'll see you once you have two front panels plus a back panel we will have three panels at the end 36 that will be my height for this front panel same number of rows yeah i have my back my front panel ready that's how it looks all right and i have two of these very identical you should have two also and um, this is how they look like very identical same number of chains same number of rows as the back panel and yeah we are going to attach them to the back panel first before we work on the sleeves so this is how we do it you lie them straight like this to the back panel there's this middle part that is about four inches in between so just lie them straight from side to side from side to side like this and we are going to use a saw needle to sew them together so i already did mine this is how it looks right so get your yarn needle put in your yarn and i'll show you how i just did that so align it together like this this is at the top a shoulder part okay so from side we are going to insert our needle if you don't have a yarn needle you are going to use a slip stitch with your hook okay so just reattach your yarn in case you're using your hook and you will slip stitch all the way through every stitch okay so i have my yarn needle and this is what i'm going to use so i'm going to go into this very first uh, stitch here both at the front panel and the back panel and just sew these together just like this so i go into the next stitch both at the front and the back and just pull through with my yarn yeah just like this same thing if you're using your hook you should just go through both panels in every stitch with a slip stitch okay and i'm just going to sew this together until i get at the end of the front panel all right go ahead finish that up once you're done do the other panel also from side to to the middle part and yeah i'll see you once you're done so that we can work on the sleeves all right so somewhere around here on the side from the shoulder to around here is where we'll have our sleeves and we are going to work on our sleeves then attach it later so for our sleeves you are going to make a foundation chain and you are going to chain enough chains as your size measurements mine is going to be 13 inches okay for extra small it's going to be 13 inches and for any other size please check this chart right here 
so that's how much inches you're going to chain okay so i'm done with my 13 inches and this is how it is yeah that's my foundation chain and basically we are going to work the same pattern we've done this about three times already so this is going to be our sleeve when you fold it in half kind of like that so for our very first row you are going to skip your very first chain go into the second chain and make a slip stitch go into your second chain make a half double crochet your next stitch will be a slip stitch and then a half double crochet a slip stitch a half double crochet same pattern like we did for our back panels our front panels and it is basically the same and uh, yeah see you at the end of this row so that we can do row two all right i'm at the end of the row this is how it looks and i'm going to end the row with a slip stitch so my last stitch is a slip stitch yours should be a slip stitch too regardless of your size so you're going to chain a one turn your work and into the very first stitch make a slip stitch go into your next stitch make a half double crochet and then a slip stitch then a half double crochet and you are going to repeat this pattern you've done it before so you know it already uh, repeat that I did this until I had a length of 22 inches because I'm quite petite uh, if you're taller please make more rows or because I want a fold on my on my sleeve if you don't want a fold then you know you can make it shorter but I want that fold on my sleeve so I'll meet you once you have your two sleeves I did 22 inches once you have your two sleeves identical mine one already looks like this and i'm working on my second one so yeah once you have your two sleeves like i said i wanted that fold at the uh, end of my sleeve so yeah so this is it i have my two sleeves ready yeah you should too when you fold it you see this is how big your sleeve will be when it's folded in half but yeah and we are now going to attach these sleeves to our rest of the cardigan so that we see our progress okay so i already attached one of it i went ahead of you i attached one sewed all this together i have my fold here that i was talking about sewed it all the way downwards even did the pocket without you but don't worry i will show you how i did that on the other side it's just a repeat same thing okay this is how the pocket looks like side pocket if you don't want it then you can eliminate that part but i wanted pockets for my hands when it's cold and i'll show you how we are going to put this sleeve get the pockets on there and get this cardigan going okay so I'll, you are going to open your cardigan like this front panel over there back panel over down here straight okay so this point right here is where you 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 are going to count your stitches divide by two so mine was 51 divided by two is 25 and one reminder so one reminder is where i put my stitch marker and that stitch marker is going to align so divide into two put your stitch marker and that stitch marker is going to align with where you joined your front panel and back panel like this so lay your cardigan straight front panel in front back panel at the bottom and we are going to join the sleeve from one side to the other side the middle is where you joined your two panels together like this this is how it looks when it is lying down okay 
so i'm joining from the wrong side so i'll just start from the bottom right here and i'm going to use my yarn needle this is the middle part of the sleeve okay you can count your stitches again if you want to see that you have both stitches aligned together all right so let's join these together so this other part is where the back panel is so i'm starting from the bottom here to the shoulder part and then to the front panel side okay so just join with your needle if you don't have a yarn needle then you are going to to use your hook with slip stitches to join these parts together okay So just continue to do this until you get to the end of the other side. And once you're done, go ahead, do your other sleeve too. And yeah, I'll see you once you're done. All right, so I'm done with my sleeve. This is how it looks. Okay, so we are now going to, you know, fold this cardigan into two so that we have the back panel at the back and the front at the, at the front. And then the sleeve is folded into two. So just like this, I have the wrong side out because we are now going to sew everything together. Okay, so that we have everything complete. But remember, we have our pockets. We need to put our pockets. So you still need your stitch markers. Okay. Because we are going to put this pocket somewhere along as we sew. So from shoulder to where your pockets are we you're going to take that measurement put a stitch marker leave the pocket hole uh, somewhere like this and then go ahead and sew down so the measurements are from top to where my pocket is i did 15 inches and left 5.5 uh, inches for the pocket and then just went ahead and sewed down so this is 15 inches put a stitch marker 5.5 .5, put a stitch marker and then just we'll just sew the rest down okay so my pocket is 5.5 .5 inches okay so we are going to start sewing from the bottom to where our two stitch markers are please make sure you have stitch markers to to mark where your pocket will be okay if you don't want a pocket then leave that part out and just sew everything together all right so we start from the bottom to where we have our very first stitch marker and then we'll sew the rest of the part right after okay All right, so for this, I'm going to use my hook and uh, from the bottom, you are going to reattach your yarn and do that very first stitch. We are going to be using a slip stitch to do this. Reattach your yarn and going to the very first stitches and both the back panel and front panel and make a slip stitch. don't make your sleeve stitches so tight just and also not so loose so
just make a slip stitch in every stitch and you're going to do this until you get to where you have your first stitch marker for your pocket and I will see you there so that I show you how we go about that uh, slit. I'm where I have my first stitch marker and uh, in that very stitch where I had my stitch marker I'll just take it out and make a slip stitch in that very stitch. So we are going to use single crochets for this part but we are going to only make single crochets on the back panel okay on the back panel only so into every stitch insert a single crochet every stitch at the back panel insert a single crochet until you get to where you have your second stitch marker so we are working at the back panel one stitch one single crochet in every stitch until you get where you have your back panel and for me this was about 25 stitches 24 stitches uh, something like that within that number All right, so this is where I have my second stitch marker and I'm just going to take it out and then slip stitch both the front panel and the back panel together just where my stitch marker was. So sorry, I did a, a single crochet. So this is how it looks. This is where we have our pocket slit. And now we are just going to go on with our slip stitches just like before. Joining both the front panel and the back panel together. Okay. Slip stitch in every stitch, both at the front panel and at the back panel. And uh, once you get to the sleeve right here, you know, this is where we have our armpits. Then you are just going to join that together, go down on the sleeve. And I'll meet you once you have three inches left because that's where I want to do the fold. And I want to show you how you sew it from the other side. So when you have about three inches left, I'll commit you to show you how we go about that fold but if you don't want the fold then just go ahead and sew the whole part together and yeah I'll see you to show you the next thing okay see you then all right so I'm on the sleeve and I have my three inches left it's about uh, this number of waves about seven six so we are now going to work from the right side we're working on the wrong side now we're now going to work on the right side so that when we fold it we don't have the the edging uh, showing okay so you're going to turn your sleeve um, inside out sorry out inside inside out okay 
turn it the right side <laughs> okay and uh, we are going to now stitch on this other side which is the right side okay so just turn it inside out or the other way around i guess and basically you are going to slip stitch till the end of the sleeve so this continue with the same thing one slip stitch in every stitch and until the end so that when you're done and you turn your slip over you know when you fold it then this wrong side is is not shown All right, so once you get to the end, we are going to work a row of slip stitches. So you are going to go into every stitch with a slip stitch, okay? And I will turn my work so that I'm working on the right side. So insert a slip stitch in that very first stitch slip stitch into the second stitch into the third stitch and insert one slip stitch in every stitch until you get to the end of this row where you started from and once you do that you will cut chain one cut off your yarn and that will be it for this sleeve okay so once you're done you'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do the pockets okay so i'm at the end of this slip stitch row just chain one and cut off your yarn then pull tighten that up like that you'll sew in the ends later and yeah then once you fold it like this you see then you don't see your line there okay But if you don't want your sleeve folded, just go ahead and uh, continue with what we're doing till the end. So now we're going to do the pocket. Okay, so we go back to where we left our pocket slit. Okay, and we are going to start with uh, this part of the back panel where we did our single crochet row. Remember, we only worked on one side of the back panel with a single crochet. So that's where we are going to start with our pocket. So I'm just going to turn this to the wrong side. And reattach my yarn up here where this is the, the back panel. That's where we'll work. This is the front panel. We'll come back to that in a few. So you reinsert your hook at the top here. And for this, we are going to be using half double crochets. So you are going to chain two into that chain one into that very first stitch. You're going to insert a half double crochet. Go into the second stitch, insert a half double crochet into the third stitch, make a half double crochet. And you are going to put one half double crochet in every stitch until you get to the bottom of the slit. Once you're there, then we will go. I'll show you how to work on the other side. Meet you here. All right, so I'm down here and we are now going to go all the way up with uh, same thing. And I'll meet you once you're at the end of the row. All right, so I've gone all around 
back panel front panel with half double crochets and this is how it looks now for row two you are just going to close this off with a slip stitch so this middle stitch here just skip it and close this off with a slip stitch so for row two you are going to go ahead and chain one i'm sorry i have a cold so chain one turn your work and we are going to work a row of half double crochets so the pocket is all um, made of half double crochets we turn our work every time we get to the end of the row we turn our work and go all the way backwards like this okay so in every stage you are going to insert a half double crochet you are going to be working in round so it's half double crochet once you get to the end of the row you chain one turn your work and back and back and back like that and do this until you have you know enough rows i'll come and tell you how many inches i did i think i'll do about five or 5.5 maybe we'll see all right so this is my previous pocket that i already did so it should look like this once you're done and um, i think i'll do five or 5.5 we'll see okay so i'm done and uh, this is how it looks so far yeah you can make it longer if you wish uh, but this is enough your hands can go in and uh, we are going to seal it off at the bottom so i did actually five inches so i did five inches and we're just going to seal it off with slip stitches okay so we are going to work slip stitches in every stitch both sides so the front and the back and then make a slip stitch just to join it together yeah just like this in every stitch and you're going to do this until you get to the end and i will meet you to show you how we sew it to the front panel okay see you at the end i'm done this is how it is so you're going to chain one and then cut off your yarn make sure you've cut about three times of your pocket um, width so that we are able to use your yarn needle to sew it so just pull through the yarn and with this yarn i'm just going to put in my yarn needle align it on the front panel so we are aligning it on the front panel Make sure it settles down well nicely evenly so that we don't have any bumpy bumpy you know stuff so just lay it on the front panel like this this is from the inside okay inside so insert your yarn needle into your yarn <laughs> insert your yarn into your yarn needle and uh, i'm just going to sew where it you know reaches but only into the loops that are inside okay only that the loops that are inside nothing on the outside we don't want it showing our stitches showing on the outside and please do it so loosely not so loose not so tight if you do it tightly then it's going to like you know clench or fold your sweater on the outside so do it loosely just like this don't don't tighten it so i'm just picking random stitches on the inside of the cardigan this is the front panel side and just stitching sewing my pocket there
so that it is firm it's not moving when you know where your cardigan we have it just in one place yeah and there we have our pocket so you're just going to fasten this off like this and then you know just sewing this end And cut off your yarn all right so go ahead and do the other pocket you should have both sides looking like this and your cardigan should already be looking something like this both sides sew together everything sewed together pockets on and the only remaining thing is the ribbing the collar and the belt so once you have everything on then we are now going to move on to the ribbing and we'll start with the bottom uh, ribbing. We'll do the bottom ribbing, ribbing along here and then come and do the top. So we are at the bottom. This is the bottom. You are going to reattach your yarn into your very first stitch. And we are going to make three half uh, three stitches chain sorry chain three and into your very first stitch stitch make a double crochet so for this row it's going to be a row of double crochets um, then going to your next stitch uh, actually these are chains that we made as our foundation chain so in every chain make one double crochet so we are working with double crochets one double crochet in every chain and for the ribbing, we are going to be using the front post and back post uh, ribbing style, which is the easiest and my favorite. I have it on so many, you know, videos, sweaters and cardigans. So if you've, you've been following me, then you should already know how to do this. So it's just a row. First row is going to be a row of double crochets. Put double crochets in every stitch all along the bottom and i'll meet you at the end of this row so that we can start on our front post and back post stitches all right see you at the end I'm done with my row of uh, double crochets and this is how it looks this is at the bottom so now we are going to turn your work and work on row two so you're going to chain three first chain three then you're going to turn your work and we are going to work front post and back post so in this very first stitch we are going to insert a double crochet and into the next stitch you see right here we are going to make a front post so just go under that double crochet with your hook and make a front post next is a back post go over that double crochet like this make a back post next is a front post and the next stitch is a back post next is a front post Next is a back post, front post, and back post. So this is going to be the pattern for this row. Just go in with a front post, back post, front post, back post until you get to the end of this row. And we will come and work on our row three. So yeah this is how it looks so far and this is going to be my last stitch so on top of the chain three this is going to be a back post 
and then on top of the chain three we'll go ahead and insert a double crochet okay so you're going to chain three turn your work and where you had a front post you will put a front post where you had a back post you will insert a back post so right here i had a front post so i'll go under this front post to make another front post here i had a back post so i'll go ahead and make a back post then front post back post and so on and so on so it's just alternate it's front post back post front post back post until you get to the end of this row and i'll meet you to show you what we do next so for the for the bottom i only did three rows if you want it longer you can add more rows but yeah i will only do three i'll meet you at the end so we are at the end and now we are going to work on the ribbing right across here from top to bottom so i want to leave three inches from the shoulder to here so we are going to work a row of double crochets this is for the front part so you're going to chain three and in this stitch here you are going to insert two double crochets go into the next stitch insert two double crochets and into the next stitch insert two double crochets so those are six we are done with our first three rows which were for the ribbing and now we are going to our uh, usual stitches so you are going to insert just one double crochet in every stitch one double crochet in every stitch where you see space here i think this is where we had our chain ones so go ahead and start one double crochet in every stitch and you are going to do this until you have three inches left right at the top okay this is how it looks so do this once you have three uh, inches left here i'll see you all right so i'm at the top and i have my three inches left right so this will be for our collar and stuff okay so leave three inches and now for row two you're going to chain three turn your work and we are going to work front post and back post like we did at the bottom so this very first double crochet you are just going to go straight under it okay with our front post so go under it to make a front post and then over it to make a back post next stitch is going to be a front post and my next is going to be a back post front post and back post so you are basically going to repeat this so i'm going to leave you with this uh, go ahead until you get to the bottom once you get the bottom chain three come back up and this is what i have i did a total number of five rows okay so i did five rows 
of the ribbing so i'll go ahead go ahead and do on the other side too same thing but this side now we are going to start from the top because we want you know them uniform we started from the bottom now we are going to start from the top downwards so three inches it's the same number of stitches you left on the other side so i'm going to reattach my yarn um right here and then i will work a row of double crochets all the way down yeah one double crochet in every stitch all the way to the bottom and once we get to the bottom you see where we had done our ribbing then you know what to do it's two double crochets in those three rows two double crochets in each of the stitches for the three rows and yeah then you chain three turn your work do the front post and back post repeat until you have a total number of five inches you can add more rows if you wish but i did five uh rows sorry not inches but five rows all right should be looking like this i'll come and we do the collar all right so i have two identical ribbings this is how they look like and now we are going to do the collar all around here so it's the same pattern we are first going to do a row of double crochets so we'll start here insert your hook on this very first stitch and you are going to make three chains and in this first row you're going to insert two double crochets this is where we have the ribbing and then to the next one it's going to be two double crochets and you're basically going to do that until you get to where we have the other most stitch and then you just insert one in every stitch so right where we have the corner you are always going to skip that stitch so let's get there see where we have the corner you're just going to skip that stitch and work into the next stitch like this okay so continue working one double crochet in every stitch once you get to the corner skip the corner stitch and then continue with one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the other corner like that so here here skip here skip right here and then here skip i'll see you once you're done with your collar all right so i did my collar i think i have about uh, one two three four five six seven maybe eight nine actually yeah i have nine rows and this is how it looks like our cardigan is ready 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 so i hope you like it now we this is how it looks like so i will just go ahead and add the belt yeah so for the belt i'll just show you how i did it so i chained 10 chains skipped one did nine single crochets uh, got to the other end chained one did nine single crochets got to the end chained one did nine single crochets like that until the end i did about 35 inches so once you're done your cardigan should look like this i hope you like it uh, if you do give this video a thumbs up uh, share to your whatsapp groups uh, whatsapp groups facebook groups if you love to add a belt like i do then just go ahead and add a belt you can style it i don't know however you want wear it it's really warm i hope yours is warm too and i really hope you like it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really helps a lot and thank you for watching all the way to this finish so thank you thank you thank you i will see you in my next tutorial bye